dear students welcome back to english class in today's english class for grade 10 we are going to see poem 10 from first flight book the tale of custard the dragon it's written by ogden nash about author Frederick Ogden Nash 1902-1971 he was an american poet famous for his light verse he was also known as producer of humorous poetry and he received sara josepha hale award in 1964 the tale of custard the dragon in this poem we have 14 stanzas in today's class we are going to see seven stanzas The Tale of Custard the Dragon is a ballad. Ballad means a poem or a song narrating a story in short stanza. So the Tale of Custard the Dragon is a ballad. Ballad means a poem or a song narrating a story in short stanza. It is a humorous poem about a cowardly dragon named Custard. Custard is a pet of Belinda, a little girl who lives in a little white house with her pets. She had a black kitten named Ink, a grey mouse named Blink, a yellow dog Mustard, and a cowardly dragon Custard. The poet says that all of them are very brave except the dragon. Others were described as brave and are compared with animals like bear, tiger, or lion. but the dragon is very timid he always demands a safe place for himself all the other characters make fun of him but one night they are surprised by the entry of a pirate in the house all of them got frightened and start hiding here and there but ev- to everyone's surprise the dragon not only tackles him but also eats him up as all of them are saved by custard they thank him but at the end they realize that they used to make fun of dragon because of his being timid so all of them suddenly start saying that they are more brave and could have handled the situation in a much better way here the poet has tried to say that sometimes a timid person is the actual hero in the toughest situation of life so now let's move on to the poem stanza 1 belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really truly little pet dragon belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really truly little pet dragon wagon means a vehicle used for transporting goods wagon a vehicle used for transporting goods in these lines the poet says that once there was a little girl named belinda once there was a little girl named belinda and she lived in a white house she lived with some creatures who were her pets so who are the pets here they were a black kitten a gray mouse a yellow dog a little red wagon and a creature that the poet says was really and truly a dragon the poet says that once there was a little girl named belinda she lived in a little white house she lived with some creatures who were her pets they were a black kitten a gray mouse a yellow dog and a little red wagon and a creature that the poet says was really and truly a dragon so now let's move on to the literary devices so first line ends with house and second line ends with mouse so house and mouse are rhyming so a a third line ends with wagon and fourth line ends with dragon wagon and dragon are rhyming so b b first line ends with house and second line ends with mouse so a a third line ends with wagon and fourth line ends with dragon so b b so next is use of the word little the word little is repeated so it is repetition next anaphora in third and fourth line you could see um a repeated use of word at the start of two consecutive lines and a and a little and a relio 
so repeated use of word at the start of two consecutive lines so it is anaphora and next you can see poetic license so realio trulio is used for real and true so the spelling have been changed to create a musical effect the spelling have been changed to create a musical effect so we call it as poetic license poetic license really or truly or for real true the spelling have been changed to create a musical effect rhyme scheme a a b b rhyme scheme a a b b repetition use of the word little anaphora repeated use of a word at the start of two consecutive lines and a little and a really o and a little and a really o next poetic license really or truly or for real true the spelling have been changed to create a musical effect stanza 2 now the name of the little black kitten was ink and the little gray mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was a coward and she called him custard now the name of the little black kitten was ink and the little gray mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was a coward and she called him custard mustard means a yellow colored flower mustard a yellow colored flower covered weakling covered weakling so in this lines the poet explains the name of all the animals he says that the name of black kitten is ink the name of gray mouse is blink the yellow the little yellow dog had yellow color and so she calls him mustard and the dragon that was a covered means um, was a weakling and was called custard the poet explains the name of all the animals um, he says that the name of uh, black kitten is ink the name of gray mouse is blink the little yellow dog had yellow color so she calls him mustard and the dragon that was a uh, covered um, covered means uh, was a weakling and uh, was called custard so now let's move on to the poetic devices so first line ends with ink and the second line ends with blink ink and blink are rhyming so a a third line ends with mustard and fourth line ends with custard so mustard and custard are rhyming so b b so rhyme scheme a a b b and sim- next poetic device is simile dog compared to mustard dog compared to mustard and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard so uh, in here when you compare two dissimilar things if you use as and like it is simile so you can see the word as is used here so it is simile next poetic device is alliteration uh, in the fourth line you could see covered and she called him custard Uh, the word c sound is repeated here c sound is repeated here so it is alliteration next anaphora repeated use of word at the start of two consecutive lines in um, second and third line you could see and the little and the little so it starts with what repeated use of word at the start of two consecutive lines so it is anaphora and use of word little so it is repetition you could see in every line the word little is used so it is repetition rhyme scheme a a b b simile dog compared to mustard alliteration use of c sound anaphora repeated use of word at the start of two consecutive lines next is repetition use of word little stanza 3 Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and realio trulio daggers on his toes Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace 
chimney for a nose, and brilio trulio daggers on his toes. Spikes means thin pointed surface. Spikes, thin pointed surface. Scales, thin bony plates protecting the skin of fish and reptiles. Scales, thin bony plates protecting the skin of fish and reptiles. Underneath situated directly below. Underneath situated directly below. Fireplace an outdoor structure of brick, stone or metal for an open fire. An outdoor structure of brick, stone or metal for an open fire. Dagger a sharp knife. Dagger a sharp knife. The poet describes the dragon um, that it had big sharp teeth and spikes on top. This means that uh, its skin was pointed on the top. On the lower part, it had scales which were bony plates to protect their skin. His mouth has been compared to a fireplace because um, it is assumed that dragons can release fire from the mouth. Even his nose is compared to a chimney which is used to pass out smoke. His feet are like a sharp knife, like a dagger. So here in this stanza, the poet has described about um, Custard the dragon, and that it had a big sharp teeth and spikes on top. This means um, that its skin was pointed on the top. On the lower part, it had scales which were bony plates to protect the skin. His mouth has been compared to a fireplace because um, it is assumed that dragons can release fire from the mouth. Even his nose is compared to a chimney which is used to pass out smoke. His feet are like a sharp knife that is a dagger. Po Next, let's move on to the poetic device. So, first line ends with teeth and second line ends with underneath. So, teeth and underneath are rhyming. So, it is AA. And uh, third line ends with nose. And fourth line ends with toes. Nose, toes. So, BB. So, rhyme scheme is AA, BB. And next, simile is used. Dragon's mouth is compared with fireplace. So, the word like is used here. So, it is simile. Next is refrain. A repetition of a sentence again and again. So here the word line and Drilio Trulio daggers on his toes. So the word Drilio and Trulio is being repeated here. So uh, that line is being repeated here. So it is refrain. Ref, uh, refrain means repetition of a sentence is a sentence again and again. Repetition of a sentence again and again. Next is metaphor. Chimney for a nose. The nose is like a chimney. So, he's comparing the nose to a chimney. Comparison of two dissimilar things. So, it is metaphor. Rhyme scheme A, B, B. Uh, then, simile, dragon's mouth is compared with fireplace. Next, refrain, repetition of a sentence again and again. And metaphor, chimney for a nose. The nose is like a chimney. Stanza 4. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bass. And ink and blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage. But Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Belinda was as brave as barrel full of bass. And ink and blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage. But Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Barrel, drum. Chased, hunt, follow. Chased, hunt, follow. Rage, anger. Rage, anger. So now the poet explains the inner strength or the bravery of various characters of the poem. Uh, he says that uh, Belinda was as brave as group of bass and Ink and Blink were so brave um, that they could... Uh, and lions. So here, uh, he has shown the bravery of the little kitten and the little mouse that could hunt even a lion. The dog was very brave, just like an angry tiger. But to contrast of all of them was custard. Uh, 
Custard the dragon was not brave. He was so afraid of everything that he always demanded a safe cage. So now the poet explains the inner strength or uh, uh, the bravery of various characters of the poem and he says that Belinda was as brave as a group of bears and Ink and Blink were so brave that they could uh, hunt lions. Um, he has shown the bravery of uh, the kitten and the little mouse that could hunt even a lion. The dog, um, the dog was uh, very brave just like an angry tiger uh, but to contrast of all of them was custard the dragon uh, was not brave he was so afraid of everything that he always demanded a safe cage next let's move on to the poetic device first line ends with bass and second line ends with stars so a and third line ends with rage and fourth line ends with cage so bb First line ends with bass and second line ends with stars. Bass and stars are rhyming. So A A. And third line ends with rage and fourth line ends with cage. So B B. So rage and cage are rhyming. So B B. And next alliteration. Belinda was as brave as barrel full of bass. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bass. So B sound is repeated. So it is alliteration. Next simile. Belinda's bravery is compared to that of a barrel full of bass. As a barrel full of bass. So the word as is used. So it is simile. Mustard's bravery is compared to that of an angry tiger. So it is Mustard's bravery um, is compared to that of an angry tiger. So it is simile. Um, assonance. Use of vowel sound A. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bass. So um, use of vowel sound A. So it is assonance. So rhyme scheme A, A, B, B. Alliteration, Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bass. B sound is repeated. Simile, uh, Belinda's bravery is compared to that of barrel full of bass and mustard's bravery is compared to that of an angry uh, tiger. Next, assonance, use of uh, vowel sound A. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bass. Stanza 5 Belinda tickled him, she tickled him unmercifully. Ink, Blink and Mustard, they rudely called him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the Relio Trulio Coverly Dragon. Belinda tickled him, she tickled him unmercifully. Ink, Blink and Mustard, they rudely called him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the Relio Trulio Coverly Dragon. Tickled, stroke, here it means to tease. Unmerciful, cruel. Percival, a knight in, the, in King's, King Arthur's court. A knight in King Arthur's court. So Belinda used to tease the dragon in a very cruel way. Ink, uh, blink and mustard made fun of him of comparing him to a knight named Percival who was um, thought to be brave but uh, ran away due to lack of courage. And they used to tease the dragon while sitting in their little red wagon. So Belinda used to tease the dragon in a very cruel way. Uh, ink, blink and mustard made fun of him by comparing him to knight named Percival uh, who was um, thought to be brave but ran away due to lack of courage. They used to tease the dragon while sitting in their little red wagon. So now let's move on to the poetic device. First rhyme scheme. The first line ends with unmerciful and uh, second line uh, ends with Percival. So unmerciful and Percival are rhyming. So A A. Wagon and dragon. Third line ends with wagon and fourth line ends with dragon. So wagon and dragon are rhyming. So B B. So first line ends with unmerciful and second line ends with Percival. So merciful and Percival are rhyming. 
so AA and third line ends with wagon and fourth line ends with dragon so BB and next poetic devices refrain repetition of the sentence again and again so which is the sentence repeated here at the trulio uh, relio trulio cowardly dragon at the relio trulio cowardly dragon next repetition use of the word tickled him so it is repeated here so it is repetition and next poetic device is allusion uh, reference to any person or place so here it is referred to whom referred to Percival is a knight in King Arthur's court and next is personification here ink blink and mustard they rudely called him Percival so it is personification rhyme scheme a a b b refrain repetition of the sentence again and uh, repetition use of the word tickled and allusion refers to any person or place and uh, personification here ink blink and mustard they rudely called him percival belinda giggled till she shook the house and blink said weak which is giggling for a mouse Ink and mustard rudely asked his age, when custard cried for a nice safe cage. Belinda giggled till she shook the house and Blink said weak, which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and mustard rudely asked his age, when custard cried for a nice safe cage. Giggled to laugh, giggled to laugh, weak. Here it is the sound made by the mouse. The poet says that Belinda used to laugh so loudly that her voice echoed in the house. Blink, the mouse used to laugh and make a sound of weak. On the other hand, ink and mustard uh, would tease him by asking the dragon his age whenever he used to demand for a nice safe cage. So the poet says that Belinda used to laugh so loudly that her voice echoed in the house and uh, Blink the mouse used to laugh to make a sound of weak. On the other hand, Ink and Mustard would tease him by asking Dragon his age whenever he used to demand for a nice safe cage. Literary device. So rhyme scheme, uh, the first line ends with house. And the second line ends with mouse. So house and mouse are rhyming. So it is AA. H cage. Third line ends with H. And fourth line ends with cage. So H and cage are rhyming. So it is BB. So the rhyme scheme is AA BB. And next poetic device is onomatopoeia. So usage of sound words to create a dramatic effect. So giggled and weak. Um, are the word, sound words used to create a dramatic effect here. Then repetition. Custard cried for a nice safe cage. So it is repeated here. Rhyme scheme. A A B B. Onomatopoeia. Use of sound words to create a dramatic effect. Here giggled and weak. Repetition. Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Suddenly, suddenly they heard a nasty sound and mustard growled and they all looked around. Meow cried Ink and oh cried Belinda for there was a pirate climbing in the window. Suddenly, suddenly they heard a nasty sound and mustard growled and they all looked around. Meow cried Ink and oh cried Belinda for there was a pirate climbing in the window. Nasty, bad or unpleasant, growled, bark, pirate, a person who robs ship in the sea. Winda, it is used for window. Nasty, bad or unpleasant, growled, bark, pirate, a person who robs ship in the sea. Winda, it is used for window. So while all of them were uh, making fun of the dragon, uh, they heard a sound of someone entering the house. When they looked towards the window, they saw a pirate climbing up the wall. The dog barked at him and the kitten meowed to him. Belinda cried, oh, because all of them were scared of the pirate. 
okay so all of them they were making fun of the dragon they heard the sound of someone entering the house um, when they looked towards the window and uh, they saw a pirate climbing up the wall and the dog barked at him and the kitten meowed at him belinda cried oh because all of them were scared of the pirate pirate means what a person who robs ship in the sea so now let's move on to the poetic device the first line ends with sound and second line ends with around sound around so it is rhyming so a a belinda winda belinda winda so it is rhyming so b b so the rhyme scheme is a a b b next poetic device is consonants use of consonant sound yes suddenly suddenly they heard a nasty sound so it is consonants use of consonant sound yes onomatopoeia use of sound words to create a dramatic effect mustard growled meow cried ink meow cried ink okay so usage of sound words to create a dramatic effect mustard growled meow cried ink next poetic license window is written as winda to create rhyme so poetic license window is written as winda to create rhyme so uh, a a b b rhyme scheme consonant use of consonant sound yes onomatopoeia usage of words sound words to create a dramatic effect mustard growled meow cried ink and a poetic license window is written as winda to create rhyme